I'm here for Houston Sports Talk, and I'm with uh, Lancaster Jetthawks third baseman Rio Ruiz. And I'd just like to, first of all, get your impressions of how things are going for you at the plate this year. Um, you know, I feel comfortable. Um, you know, there's a lot of nicks and nacks, uh, you know, during the season that you got to battle through. But, you know, that's just another thing of, um, you know, progressing and everything and, you know, finding, finding yourself and who you really are. And that's, you know, wh what I'm really finding out this year. Also wanted to just ask you made an emphasis this past off season to work on improving your defense. How has that been going at the hot corner? Because it's a very tough position. Right. Um, it's been going well. I mean, there's been some tricky balls, of course, especially at the hot corner. But you know, I've been working with our infield coach uh, Ramon Vasquez, and you know, he's helped me a lot with his experiences and everything like that. So I'm learning. I'm learning every single you know game in certain situations and stuff like that. So you know, it's coming along pretty well. Playing with a lot of great teammates here in, in, until his injury, Carlos Correa. And then you also have Tony Kim. And what's it like? Uh, do you see the talent in playing with these guys every single day? Yeah, I've been playing with Carlos ever since I got drafted. You know, we've been up and up the system together um he's the only other shortstop i've played with in my career so far in pro ball so to see him go down is you know it's kind of down around me but you know with the the staff we got here especially like you said with tony camp and the rest of the infield and outfield and pitching staff it's easier to you know get over that injury you know keep going but you know carlos is going to be missed and i can't wait to play with him again what do you think you need to do personally to progress through the system, get double A, triple A, and eventually to the major leagues? Um, you know, just you know, just keep improving every single year, every single game. Um, learn something, and you know, not make the same mistakes multiple times. Uh, I think that's huge. It's in my power to do what I can control. Everything else is in everybody else's. Uh, you know discretion so I'm just out here trying to do my best and you know progress every day and your coaching staff and here at Lancaster and also the t teammates have been very supportive and helpful with you oh, yeah. this group has been together since last year and you know this is a new coaching staff we came into the, coming into the year but you know we've gotten acclimated really well and you know we got a good um, you know bond you know coaches and teammates and players and all that so you know it's a real loose um, atmosphere here but you know when when things get down to uh, you know the game you know we really bear down speaking of that bond growing together you won at quad cities last year and now to come to lancaster set a record for wins in the first half of the season is that something special you're building you feel like with the, the chemistry here and the bond with these teammates yeah of course you know the first thing that rodney had told us when we got here is that he wants to win 100 games so you know to set the record of the first half you know that's a huge step to that but you know even if we don't win 100 games you know we fall short a little bit it, it's all right we go to the postseason and, you know we try to get a ring again are there any third basemen that you modeled your game after? Recently, it's been Michael Young. You know, just the way he's been going about, about his business ever since he, you know, started playing. And, you know, I really looked up to him. And, you know, now that he's gone, you know, it's Adrian Beltre. So, you know, I'm kind of staying in the Texas deal. Um, but, you know, both, both guys just play the game the right way. You know, Mike speaks. I mean, you just talk about Michael Young and you know what he brings to the table. Um, so, you know, those are the guys I really looked up to. I always think of a professionalism with Michael Young, too. He goes about his business the right way. Oh, yeah, definitely. I've spoken to Mike a couple times. Um, he's a great great guy. You know, I know if I ever need any help with anything, I can just go to him real quick. Um, you know, along with a lot of guys here that's been, been up and down in the majors or whatever it is, you know, I could talk to him, you know, whatever it is. And, uh, you know, I, there's a comfortability factor within this locker room and with Mike. So, you know, either way, I'm, I can't go wrong. Just uh, being able to play also in front of uh, friends and family this year a lot because you're in Southern California and right. you're from Southern California. How does that feel too? It's great. You know, it's a little drive from my hometown to here, but you know, my parents make make the best they can. They pretty much make it every game, so I'm very thankful for that. But when I go to Lake Elsinore or Rancho Cucamonga, you know, I get like 30, 40 people every single time. It, it's great to play in front of them, and you know, it really you know helped me get comfortable real quick and for right away. So you know, that's that's a big help. You get a lot of message requests and uh, t tweets for tickets. I'm sure from all the friends. Yeah, usually pretty much every game. Just to give people back in Houston a, a little insight into you, what what are, you, are your hobbies? Do you have something that uh, you like to do in your spare time? Spare time, you know, not too much during the season. If I want to do go some, do go do something. It's usually golf with a couple buddies here on the team. Getting pretty good. You have a low handicap. Yeah, no, it, it's usually me, McCullers, Vince Velasquez, and Josh Hader. You know who I'm usually with. You know they go on their pitchers, so they get a lot more time than I do. But um, for the most part, you know, it's, I golf with the same group of guys, and you know we. We keep it competitive, but we we know we're not that great. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Rio.
You can listen to more of our interviews and podcast on HoustonSportsTalk.net. Subscribe to Houston Sports Talk for free on iTunes or on the Stitcher app.